Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this, my long-awaited progress video for Luke's Quest, eight months later. That is eight months after everything I did with my daily consumption of red meat, with my you know diets that included things that aren't exactly the best for building strength, building good physique. Well, that is now eight months later of really putting in the work to overhaul what is going everything dietary-wise, what's going everything exercise-wise. So we're going to be showing off a little bit of that. Right, if you can go and see, I will demonstrate. Down there, you will be seeing this nice little ball. I can go up and high up. This is a, a little sit-up ball that I've been using. Well, now I use it far more regularly in far more unconventional kind of ways. These are the ways that involve certain things where it's not just simply a matter of bouncing on this while doing sit-ups. It's also a matter of doing other kind of exercises or things that involve dumbbells, things that may involve even the suspension cables or tension cables, resistance cables. On this baby boy right here, you also see what is this going on with my equipment that we will go and show in a moment, but we all know the real piece de resistance of this was showing off a little more of what has been the physique progress so far since then. Now we'll see a little bit in a moment. So now you'll notice before this little area right here, the basic structure of the collarbone was there, but it was not anywhere near in the kind of real definition like before where I could pretty much squeeze all the way down. Now it's much firmer in this area here and here. And up there, we see there is a bit of progress in getting the arms to go. Because I did this right after I'd been training. For the first time in a long time, I went and did some work on a rowing machine. I actually went and got one about two years ago. I got myself a rowing machine. But now, finally, I went ahead and actually was able to finally use it, but through the miracle of WD-40. And now let's go down to what I have for you to see. Oh, uh, yeah. The beginning of visible abs. Uh, I said the beginning. I don't think I look exactly super cut. But you can tell the more I upper tense here, the more you see strength and visibility, things like that. But right here is this little thing. Yes, this is the rowing machine in question that I had had for a couple years in my basement and was not able to actually properly use it. And why? Something wrong with the hydraulics, no matter what the setting was, I was not able to pull them back without wincing, without some whining, without some kind of, oh my God, this thing isn't working. And then, well... One can of WD-40 later, I was able to go and grease this baby up and get it to really move and shake and twist. That's why I made the little ritual of after I was finished to go and get myself some uh, pulling and washing, you know, pulling some hairs here or there, literally. I still think, I'll let you uh, uh, think right there if uh, the hair is a little messy or not, but the hair is not really the place that we were all coming here for. It's a matter of making sure this looks better. I do think that there is a bit more progress to be made, but the progress to be made is uh, definitely advancing. It's moving. It's going. If I can get down in there, and I hope the more I go in and do it, the more that we progress. Because, well, anybody, remember, when it comes to these kind of fitness regimes, you have the progress. What is the goal in mind? But then when you succeed in that goal, it's not just a matter of keeping the goal, it's a matter of maintaining it. Yes, maintaining it once you reach the goal. You say you want to go and get, you know, shredded in the, you know, abs, you want to shred abs, you want to simply, you know, lose 50 pounds. Well, you got to lose the 50 pounds and then you have to maintain losing the 50 pounds. You know, stay in that direction, stay in that lifestyle. That's why I was really less referring to this as a diet change and more as a lifestyle change because... What I was doing training-wise, what I was doing eating-wise, was not of the best thing to do for myself, and I mean for now for anybody in my family, because I've, there's people out there in your life when it comes to being the best you, there is the way where it's not just a matter of, yes, it benefits yourself, but then, you know, the healthier you are, the stronger you are, uh, whatever, 
does do a good job in bringing those other people in your life. You know, you become more reliable to them. You have a more positive outlook. You have more positive uh, out effect on them as well. And that comes through, you know, what are the tools you use to develop a physique? What do you, to, what do you use are the tools to develop your uh, abilities, your strength, your stamina, those sort of things. Think of it almost as something like a D&D &D game where you have those stats. And what I'm using down here is uh, the tools I use to level up. Besides the rowing machine, I actually do, yes, uh, sue me, make fun of me, all you want, but I do use uh, the Thigh Masters. I've got uh, one set, I actually had a pair of them, a conventional ones like this, and uh, the interior leg one on here broke not too long ago. Uh, a few months ago, this one broke, so now that's why we have two of these, because I had to go and get another set to get the inner and outer thigh ones to work. These, uh, perfect push-ups, if I can get them more in frame. Yes, these are things we do where you either put the pair of these on the ground, or you can put them on a wall, and when you're doing a push-up, you twist in and out, in and out. That's how you go. Then there is, uh, these is a little pouch of resistance cables. You wrap these around your legs or your ankles, or maybe even your thighs, and you get the, there's a, as always, there's like the thinnest, then there's the medium, then there's the thickest one. You know, for people who are used to these, they probably have to take all three and put them in there. But for other people out there who aren't really training their legs, it's best to start off by developing with this pack right here. And this is the ab roller. This is something I've actually not used as much as I should and probably will be using more of in the future where, yes, so you go down on the ground on your hands and knees with this and you, with your abdominal strength, you roll out and roll back in. The real tension is in rolling inward with this. Next, you've got this here being my bag of different resistance cables. And by these, I mean, they actually have handles and you go and you pull them and you twist them and you contort them this way or that. This uh, big one right here, this is a vest. This is a Kevlar kind of... Oh yeah, sorry about that. This is a Kevlar kind of a vest where you wear it around your waist. If I can show it off a little bit here. Yes, you put this. Mm. I can get it in there. All right, yeah. And you see here, you go and you wrap this around. I put this on backwards. I think what you do is you get this on and then you get the Velcro around there. And you can either do several things that you can either run with it, you can jog with it. Even running or walking gives you some resistance or you do activities like squatting or push-ups with this as well. You do that and it adds that extra tension onto squats or push-ups, that extra resistance, that extra weight that makes you train harder. And those are just a few things I will now go and show you. All right. Uh, down here, there is uh, this baby boy, if I can get him in frame. Oh, okay, come on, where are you? There we are. My, uh, this is a nice little stationary kind of bike. You simply sit on it and you pull up and you pull down where you sit on that little chair or right pad right here and then you go get yourself a nice good grip on these bars and simply pull up and you go back down. Very simple up and down, up and down motion. And it's really more a matter of endurance than really resistance. It's not a matter of it being super, super hard to do. It's a matter of really building an endurance in your legs and also your arms as well. Because I do sequences where I'm rowing with the full body. It's like a stationary kind of a upward rowing machine. And I go up, up or down where I use my full body, leg and arm strength. And then there'll be a set where I'll do just my arms or another set where I will use only my legs. And your garden variety conventional dumbbells and kettlebells are down here. If you get them behind the chair, yes, if I can get them in frame. Come on, there we go. Yes, I'm getting better at this. We see the kettlebells. We see the dumbbells there. 
Those are two sets, two different weights of 15 and 35 for both the kettlebell and for the dumbbells. The dumbbells, we all know how to use those. And the kettlebells is something similar where you can do things like you can do squats where you squat down while pulling the kettlebell up. Or there's one where you can go and pull it up over your head. Or you can even do twists with it. And twisting really helps the areas where you are going to be, like, say, around here. Like here, there, you can go and twist like that. But with the extra resistance from the kettlebell, you are going to go and that will get you that extra weight, that extra tension that will then really go and blast those areas. If you go to those gyms, like conventional gyms, or even if you go to like a rec center, usually those machines have those little human physiology charts where it shows which muscle groups they stimulate, which muscle groups they're supposed to work. That in that kind of twisting motion with the A kettlebell, any kettlebell, five pounds, 10 pounds, 25 pounds, goes and twists. You use it that way for twisting and it gets, it, it blasts away the love handle so you really go away at it. But it's not just a matter of, remember, it's not just a matter of blasting away the, the love handles with the weights. You also got to have, you know, proper nutrition. And that's where things like, you know, getting grains, getting your proteins, things like that. And the, the, remember, dairy, that's something where it depends on the person because say, if you're lactose intolerant, then dairy is something where you can still go and really build the good physique, but without the dairy intake, you know, without the milk or well, ice cream in general, that's the, that's the difference is that you can have, you know, indulgences, you can go and uh, have yourself a good time with this or that, but it's not really much of a treat then if you're having it over and over and over, then it just becomes a regular part of your, what it is you're consuming and if what you're consuming is not really producing something that is big, that is going to be, you know, a big, good deal to build up your physique, you really don't have something in you that is going to be a, a real positive outlook on your body. I mean, that's why, I mean, just this alone, just that little bit of line that goes up in there, in the light, we can see. Yeah, now we see. Right there. And a little bit. Yep. And a little bit right there. You see. Pull it outward a little bit there, 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 just like, yeah. Now the real goal is, now real next for me is to make sure that this, what you see here, becomes the full chart, the full shredded, you know, the ab chart, abdomen chart. Get that there, get it where you see everything like you see on a superhero. The way the superhero bodies or the superhero male bodies are supposed to be drawn or they are looking strong, they are looking sharp, they are looking, um, uh, let's say, uh, physically sophisticated. You are going to get people that are going to love them and going to want to see them and go and go and go and go. That is why this is the last eight months I've been going on this. Well, I'm going to be doing it even more. I'm going to keep on going so that then maybe, you know, in another month or so of progress, you might see another progress video. That is something that I'm going to actually have you all vote on in the comments below, or maybe even I'll put up a poll on whether or not you want to see me do another progress video, let's say like once a month, where instead of it being like a regular weekly series, I'll go and do another piece and next another month and another month and another month, so on. But that's up for you to say. So until then, yeah, one way or another, I'm still the guy who's probably in the best shape of all the creators in Comic State because you're not going to, this is definitely not something you're going to be seeing when... Deo Kayon or EVS or John Malin's going to be taking their shirt off. All right. That's a, uh, that's not, I'm not sent me insulting them. That's just, come on. We, we know it's true. Uh, I'm not putting them down. It's just a simple fact. So until then, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember, subscribe if you're new. Remember to check that you're still subscribed if you are a returning viewer. And also the best way to shop, uh, to help out the channel is to shop on my art store. I have my pen and ink illustrations for 25 bucks. My color drawings are 20 bucks. My sketchbooks are 25 bucks. And you can commission me for a pen and ink piece for 50 bucks. Those commissions are available as the last item in my illustration categories. You can commission a drawing in color for 25 bucks plus shipping. They're the last item in my color drawing categories. Or you can go and commission a trading card for 20 bucks a piece plus shipping. And they're the last item in my coffee sleeve super babes category. And those coffee sleeve art pieces are only $7.50. Besides that, you can go and simply donate any dollar amount you like to support me. Donations are the first thing you see in the store when they're there, and they can come from anywhere around the world in any denomination. Besides that, do not forget that whatever you get, 
One or several things only comes with a flat $5 shipping and handling fee. But remember, my friends, if you live outside of the US, my store cannot receive items, orders for items for commissions outside of uh, US addresses. So you would have to go and make your purchase via a donation. Add up the price of what you want in US dollars, including another 25 US for international shipping, and your items will ship the next day like it would for anyone in America. So until then, I've got more progress to make. I know that I can do better. We all can do better, but I'm gonna be the one leading the way. So until then, remember felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.